I'm Psycho Rick. Welcome to my world. For your dolly, holy sleep, as one don't dare. Kaleem Marie Applegate was born on May 30th, 1963 in Bellflower, California. Ten years later, her family moved to Farmington, Minnesota, a small town where her father took up a manager position in the Central Telephone Company of Minnesota. Kaleem went to Farmington High School where she was a cheerleader before graduating in 1981. After graduating, she stayed in Farmington, where she worked as a cashier and a repair clerk for the phone company. Her relationship with her parents was great until her junior and senior year in high school, where Colleen became rebellious. It was also during that time she started dating a guy named Mark Marcel. In December of 1981, Colleen, in what her parents now claim as a means of getting attention, swallowed a bottle of pills in an attempt at suicide. In March of 1982, the news spread throughout the town and to save her family the embarrassment, Colleen, along with her boyfriend, ran away and moved to Los Angeles. After arriving in Los Angeles, Colleen and her boyfriend both struggled to find employment. It wasn't until Mike saw an ad in the newspaper for a figure modeling that Colleen would gain her first big break. So accompanied by Mike, Colleen went to the World Modeling Agency where she met Jim South, who set her up with photographer J. Stephen Hicks. Hicks shot Colleen's first pictorial, which went on to be featured in the magazine, Club. Her girl next door look soon had her landing work for magazines such as Hustler and Penthouse. It was then where J. Stephen Hicks gave Colleen advice. And that advice was to get out of nude modeling quickly because once all the magazines were done using her up, the only thing left for her would be hardcore movies. And of course, like your typical 18 year old startlet, Colleen chose not to listen. Also during that time, after two months of living in California, Mike left Colleen and moved back to Minnesota, where he later joined the Army, but not before he let some of Farmington residents know that Colleen was into porn. This caused her parents great embarrassment, and they flew out to L.A. to try to retrieve Colleen. But just like she ignored J. Stephen Hicks' advice, she ignored her parents' demand to return with them even more. Colleen continued to work for World Modeling Agency, and it was through them where she met porn producer Bobby Hollander, who kickstarted her adult film career. It was also where she finally earned her stage name, Shauna Grant. Making over $300 to $1,500 a day, Shauna went on to make over 30 adult films and videos, with her most popular being Flesh and Laces, Susie Superstar, and Virginia. But just as her career started to take off, it quickly came to a halt. Because in 1983, Shauna retired from the business for many reasons. One, because she started being difficult to work with and lacked enthusiasm during sex scenes due to her cocaine addiction. And two, she contracted herpes during her short time in the business. But the worst was yet to come. Just days after the eight annual Adult Film Association Awards, forgetting to pick up her Minnesota boyfriend up at the airport and being told by her other boyfriend and cocaine dealer that he was in jail, she had to move out and their relationship was over, on March 21st, 
1984, Shauna Grant shot herself in the head with a 22 rifle shortly after 7 p.m. She was rushed to Desert Hospital, where on March 23rd, after being declared brain dead, was taken off life support, and she died. Shauna's funeral was held five days later at St. Michael's Church near the center of Farmington, Minnesota. Many people in the adult industry that knew Shauna chose not to attend the funeral service, feeling that their presence would only anger the family. So instead, they chose to send flowers, letters, and their condolences. But if you ask me, Shauna's biggest mistake was not standing on her own two feet when it mattered. I mean, when it came to making decisions that she wanted to do, she had no problem. But seeing as she depended on a lot of people when it came to doing stuff on her own, she was a sad, scared little girl. Either way, Colleen Marie Applegate, AKA Shauna Grant, was buried at the St. Michael's Catholic Cemetery in Farmington, Minnesota. She was 20 years old. I'm Psycho Rick. Thanks for watching. For your dolly, holy sleep, this morning.